For our indie lab, we chose to explore the physics behind the video game Super Smash Bros. Melee, more commonly referred to as Smash or Melee. Super Smash Bros. Melee came out in 2001 for the Nintendo GameCube. It was intended as a party fighting game for casual gamers with a variety of popular Nintendo characters available to play as. The objective of the game was to knock the other players off the stage by hitting them with different moves unique to each character. Each move adds a different percentage to the other player, and the higher percentage, the farther attack the attack will knock you back. We set out to identify how the possible forces in the game compare to the, in contrast with how they might function in real life. One of the things we analyzed was also the conservation of momentum within a wave dash. A wave dash is an advanced technique in Smash utilized as a quick movement option. It uses two motions, jumping and air dodging. An air dodge is a dodge executed in the air that sends you in a target direction. To wave dash, you jump and then quickly air dodge diagonally downward. This allows you to slide quickly along the ground. One of the most important factors in Smash is knockback. This equation determines the knockback distance given by a move. We had several initial hypotheses. Our first idea was that one attack would consistently apply the same force against different characters. The second would be that momentum is conserved during a wave dash. We also believed that the units of the knockback equation would cancel out so that meters are equal to meters. Our final hypothesis was that the variable B in the equation would correlate with the observed forces in the game. The equipment we used was a Nintendo GameCube, which was our method of playing the game, um, and a method of recording the game, which and we used screen capture hardware. We used three GameCube controllers, a TV, obviously a copy, copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee, and a method of analyzing the video, which was Logger Pro. In order to determine if momentum is conserved during a wave dash, we took a video of a character air dodging and used video analysis in Logger Pro and the mass of the character to determine the momentum of an air dodge. We then recorded a wave dash and did some vectoring to see if their momentum remained the same as in the air or if momentum was lost hitting the ground. To calculate the force applied of a specific move, we recorded the character hitting three other characters from the same distance away at 0%. We then found the acceleration of the target with Logger Pro and multiplied the character's mass by the acceleration to find the force applied. So for momentum conservation during a wave dash, we found that the standard momentum of an air dodge is approximately 1037 kilogrammeters per second for Marth, and the momentum after the wave dash is 586 kilogrammeters per second, which is obviously quite a drop, which means that momentum isn't conserved. Uh, while there isn't necessarily energy within the game, uh, we did we can conclude that there's some sort of inelastic collision going on between the jump and the and hitting the ground. Concerning our data with characters' moves and their forces, we came to the conclusion that they don't act as they do in the real world. As shown here, most of our measured forces varied by a fairly significant amount, with their most consistent being the Falcon Punch and the Knee of Justice, which still varied between around six or seven thousand newtons. We graphed acceleration of each hit character versus the inverse mass of the character, separating the graphs by each move. We were attempting to identify the slope of these graphs as the force applied by each move. However, most of our graphs didn't give us the desired output, likely due in part to our inconsistent forces and imperfect method of identifying each character's mass. The graph for Marth's forward smash tipper did give us a graph that was somewhat close to the average of what we recorded for his forces. From these graphs, we can affirm our conclusion that the forces of attacks and melee do not function the same way as forces do in real life, as they don't follow Newton's second law. The purpose of this experiment was to attempt to draw parallels between the physics of Super Smash Bros. and Newtonian mechanics. We predicted that the accepted knockback equation would have left like dimensional analysis, that forces in the game would operate based on Newton's second law, and that momentum is conserved during wave dashes. We came to discover that none of these things were actually true. It did not take much analysis to discover that the knockback equation does not follow the standard rules of dimensional analysis, as there are multiple constants that the units are multiplied by, such as 1.4. Also, there is a unit of percent in the numerator without a corresponding unit in the denominator to cancel it out. As for momentum during a wave dash, our results do not follow our, our hypothesis, but are more in line with Newtonian physics. Momentum is not conserved, instead there is energy lost upon collision with the ground. This makes sense in terms of real-world physics, as both perfectly inelastic and perfectly elastic collisions don't exist, and a wave dash is neither. As for the forces, more data would need to be collected to determine the way in which force actually acts within the game. 
From the data we collected, there appears to be no simple solution, and it's quite possible that forces and moves have absolutely nothing to do with the mass or acceleration of the character. The sporadic nature of our data certainly suggests that, as the calculated force went up and down without any noticeable correlation. It is important to note that there is a purpose to how unpredictable this is. Also, we found that B in the knockback equation is not force, as values we got for force were in the 10,000s, while the actual values for B tend to be between 1 and 100. The physics of a game such as this are obviously not going to be realistic, as realistic physics in Melee would make for quite an uninter uninteresting and likely unbalanced game. It is obvious on inspection that a lot of the mechanics of the game are purposefully placed there in order to make a fun game. If all the characters had the same fall speed and there was constant gravitational acceleration, a lot of the depth of the game would be lost, as there are a lot of strategy in the game derived from how quickly different characters move from the air. I think that an interesting place for further study on the game would be in the knockback equation itself. The community has determined that it is the most accurate configuration of the equation that determines knockback, and doing some literal science and testing if that is true would be interesting, even if we would simply come to the conclusion that that equation is true.